tutorials 6 and 7, I introduced the internal and external audio systems of physis-based organs, but I didn't discuss reverberation. Reverberation has been rightly called the most important stop on the organ because it acts to blend and sustain the otherwise dry sound of the instrument. Digital organs are not much different to pipe organs in this respect and they can both sound pretty raw up close without any reverberation. Physis organs have their own internal reverberation processing, which can be added to dry organ sounds in a number of different styles and with variable level. Alternatively, you can employ an external reverb unit. So we'll look at what reverberation is and how to use it to best effect. The sound of the organ that we hear in a church or other large space is a combination of the direct dry sound from the instrument itself and reflected versions of it that have bounced off various surfaces. Organs have generally been installed in big spaces that have hard surfaces and in such spaces there can be a lot of reverberation. Most organists will agree that reverberation is a good thing, although too much of it can blur the articulation of a performance. On a graph of sound level against time, an impulse like a clap or a gunshot will first generate a spike of direct sound, which is followed by some fairly sparse early reflections from the first few surfaces it encounters. These give the listener clues about the size and shape of the space. As the reflections are themselves reflected, a diffuse late reverberant field builds up in which it becomes impossible to perceive individual reflections. The reverberant tail gradually decays in level as energy is absorbed. The reverberation time of a space is normally said to be the time it takes for the energy of an impulse to decay by 60 decibels from its starting level. This can be many seconds in a large stone building, for example, or next to nothing in your living room. If you're installing an organ in a large public space, the chances are that the space will have enough of its own reverberation. Natural reverberation is normally to be preferred, and as with a pipe organ, it's important to think carefully about where you put the sound sources to integrate optimally with the reflected sound. If the loudspeakers are too close to the audience or congregation, they'll hear too much direct sound and it will sound raw, too far away and the organ sound could be quiet, indistinct and possibly too reverberant. This is a difficult juggling act that takes experimentation and experience to get right. Adding artificial reverberation to the organ sound in public spaces is generally not a good idea as it can result in the organ sounding like it's in a totally different space to everything else. Some dry public halls have sophisticated reverberation enhancement systems for the entire space, but that's really a story for another day. If you're installing an organ in a small private space that has next to no reverberation of its own, then you may need to simulate the sound of a larger space using artificial reverberation. Playing Vidor organ symphonies with no reverberation isn't a particularly satisfying experience, I think you'd agree. If you use the organ's built-in system, the reverberation can be mixed with the pipe sounds and reproduced through the internal loudspeaker system in the console. In the setup menu, if you select reverberation, it's possible to choose from a number of preset reverb styles ranging from a small chapel with a shortish decay time, that's this one, to a larger cathedral with a long decay time, that's this one. And you can also choose the wet dry balance the low setting having a greater proportion of direct sound 
and the high setting having a greater proportion of reverb or wet sound. So this is the low setting. And then if we go to the high setting, you'll hear a, a greater blend of reverb. More wet sound can make it seem as if you're further from the sound source. It's just a question of choosing what suits your music and preferences. The overall level of the internal reverberation can be easily adjusted using the organ's reverberation level control knob on the panel that normally sits below the console. The other knob controls the overall volume of the organ. The positions of these determine the levels that are returned to each time the organ is turned on. You can also change the reverb volume level using the control panel volumes menu. And it's the second one on the list here and labeled Rev. And you can lift or lower the overall reverb volume level from here. Artificial reverb is rather more convincing if it immerses or envelops the player and listeners as it would in a naturally reverberant space. To achieve this, you'll need to get the reverberation out of the organ console and into some separate speakers, suitably mounted in the room. If you only have two reverb loudspeakers, the best place for these will normally be to either side of the player at a fairly wide angle. If you have four, then they can go in the corners of the room. In my own experience, separating the reverb from the pipe sounds is much more effective than having everything mixed together. One way of doing this is to use the general reverb mode of the external audio setup that I showed you in tutorial seven. The reverb is then routed to external outputs three and four, and you can connect these to a stereo amplifier and a pair of speakers. If you want full surround reverb in the room or more control over the reverb parameters, then an alternative is to use a third party reverberation processor such as this one. It can be fed from the organ's general output set to flat filtering as explained in tutorial seven and its outputs connected to amplifiers and loudspeakers arranged around the room. Viscount can advise you on separate independent systems to achieve this. I've given you a short introduction to the role of reverberation and showed you how to configure the internal reverberation system of physis based organs, both for internal and external loudspeakers. We've also taken a brief look at the issues arising in public spaces and some alternatives for using external reverberation processing.